Hello everyone, I just wanted to give you an update on what I've been working um, and what's new on Mapbox uh, Unreal Bridge. Um, I've been working on importing uh, like roads and rivers, um, uh, basically geojson features for whatever uh, landscape you've selected. And I just wanted to give you a little progress update. It's really an alpha work in progress. Um, you know, still, still a lot of things to figure out and fix, but I just wanted to kind of show you where I'm at. So I've got the uh, georeferencing working, um, a little track generator, and I can import some of the GeoJSON. Um, really big thanks to a couple people that helped me with this, and their uh, their credits are listed on the Macbox Bridge plugin page. Um, and so a couple things. So in this release, um, you've got a 503 version and also a 5.1 version. If you want to use the import, the GeoJSON features, um, then you will need to also drop the VA REST plugin for 503 or 5.1 into your plugins folder. The VA REST plugin is a free plugin, open source plugin. You can get it here or from GitHub, um, but I've included pre-built pre-built binaries for you know use with this plugin. So I'd suggest just go ahead and use using these. So um, let me get started and show you where we're at. So um, let's go ahead and clear these points here. These are spline points. Um, let's bring up a map. Okay, and. So first, I'm going to show you a close-up of a road. So let's just zoom in here and grab. Okay, so we've got this road right here. Let's just grab that guy and we'll import. So we're just importing this tiny little piece of landscape, nothing big um, in it. Now, you need to go ahead and choose um, Download GeoJSON Features if you want to use the import function. Go ahead and select that. And then you can go ahead and hit send to Unreal. And once that's done, we can minimize this and we can see that we've got that little bit of a landscape imported. Um, and because we're zooming in so close, the resolution is, is not very good on this landscape. And that's another thing I'm trying to figure out how to fix. Um, also, the Z scale is off and that, that's easy to fix. Just change your, go to your landscape, go to your scaling. Um, right here and I don't know maybe bring it down to 50 that looks about right um, so, but you still have all these kind of I guess artifacts I'm not really sure why they're coming in but you know clearly doesn't look that good but that's only on these close-up shots um, but this demonstrates the the, the road uh, the importing of road feature really well so let's go ahead and go to um, or uh, first we have to hook it up uh, because again, if you don't have VA REST uh, installed, I don't have it hooked up, so it won't give you an error when you compile it. So let's go to the, um, to get to it, it should be, depending on whether you installed it in your engine or whether you just dropped it in your plugins folder. I just dropped it in my plugins folder. So, uh, and you can see that by going into settings here and show, um, plugin content and then that way you'll see this plugins folder so go to that go to your um, map box blueprints import map and the map box BP now the one we want is called import JSON just double click on that function it will actually um, be disconnected like this when you see it so all you need to do is drag a line here connect it up, hit uh, save, compile, and you can go ahead and close that down. Now you've got the import GeoJSON features available to you. So let's drag a, if you go back to Unreal Mapbox Bridge content, go to Blueprints, you'll see a thing called Track Generator, and this will actually generate your road. So you can go to that go to blueprints and don't use the number two just this one and drag this anywhere in your landscape it'll position it automatically let me show you what it looks like so
So it's just a little uh, track generator. It has spline, so if you click on a spline point and do Alt, you can drag it out. Um, let's raise it up a little bit. And so you can manually create, use this to create a road and do whatever you want. Um, there's some features to the track generator, such as the meshes, um, guardrails. If you want the guardrails, you can uh, uh, go to, where is it? Okay. Uh, road data array right here. This is, this. whenever you create a new spline point, either manually or um, through the automated system, it'll add it right here to road data array. And you can just open that up and choose left guardrail, right guardrail on the sections that you want. Um, you can change the bank on the sections, so you can do it like that if you want. Oops, maybe that was a little too much. Let's try uh, put that under zero, so point five. So you can bank it, so you know, do little banks like that. It's that's not exactly a great example there, but um, change the track width and thickness. It's just very basic. Um, and I and I got it from this guy who did it, uh, Unreal. I think Zach something in Unreal for working for Unreal did a video of it and basically copied copied what he did. So it's pretty simple, basic, but it's cool. Um, so you can do it manually like that and just use the track generator without the um, importing the GeoJSON features as much as you want, whatever you want to do. Or you can, you know, again, what I'm using it mainly for is for importing the uh, GeoJSON features. So let me just drag a blank one back out again. And again, it doesn't matter where you drag it when you're importing the GeoJSON. It'll, it'll uh, importing the road features. When I say GeoJSON, I'm talking about the roads, rivers, stuff like that. All right, so now that we have that out here, we can go back to our map box, BP. And then you'll notice if you... Um, You've got import GeoJSON here, and if you'll notice, all that's doing is taking this um, file name, GeoJSON, and importing that um, JSON file. That file is located when you downloaded your map in your uh, map directory. It's called GeoJSON here. Let me show you what that looks like. Um, and it's just, okay. So it's just a simple JSON um, file with uh, GeoJSON file. You can look up the GeoJSON specs, but basically GeoJSON has features. It, you know, what type of feature, whether it's a line string or polygon, and then the longitude and latitude coordinates of basically spline points on it. So in this case, we grabbed a road called entrance. So if I go back here and let's just find entrance. Okay, now I've got it hard coded to this particular one right now and I'll show you where it's hard coded so you can change it. Again, this is just testing, but you can see that it has that road information in here. Okay, it, the road, it starts here at features. So this is just one little feature and that's this road and it's the type is a line string, so it's basically just a line. And then here are essentially the longitude and latitude spline points, essentially. And we convert these longitude and latitude spline points into Unreal Engine coordinate spline points. And you can see here's the name of the road we found. So that's all it really is doing is parsing this. It, right now it's hard coded to look for this particular road and then grab this, these longitude and latitude information and convert it to um, the correct Unreal Engine coordinates for the landscape. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So once we, once we um, go back to our Unreal, so after it saves, um, I can choose Import GeoJSON. And what that's going to do is gonna, it's going to um, import all those longitude and latitude points and convert them to UE points and then apply them to this track and expand the track along those points. So if I go ahead and click on import GeoJSON and then double click on the track, you can see that it did, you know, there's still problems obviously I'm dealing with, but it did generate the track.
occur uh, the same um, as on the map. So if you look at that, you can see, okay, we've got room here. You know, we've got our little curve right around here. So a little curve right around here, and it goes on back through there, and you know, goes on back through there. Um, so right now, I've only got I've got it set at a Z height of 100. Again, um, you know, matching the landscape pipe is another thing that I want to do. So if you bring this up a little bit, you can actually see the road. and see how it actually is matching the landscape based on the geo-referencing. So it's taking all those longitude and latitude and it is plotting it according to the landscape. So that part of it's looking good. Um, you know, issues here, a um, couple other, you know, some main issues I'm having to deal with is also if you were to get it <clears throat> on a larger scale, Say you wanted this landscape instead. Let's get rid of this landscape. And bring in this landscape and download those features as well. Um, you're going to have a problem. Oh, I downloaded the wrong size. Let's try that. Okay, so this this looks great, but when I try to when you try to um, get the geojson features for this landscape, it's not going to work very well. The reason being is this is a limitation to Mapbox, um, is that Mapbox only allows you to download landscape features you can see. So at this level of zoom, I can zoom in and out. So at this level of zoom, to get this nice big area of landscape I can't see those roads like the one road I wanted before I can't see it its name until I zoom in here and until I can see its name it won't download this road so I won't have it anywhere but if you um yikes but if you select like a big area like this and you want to get just that little road or whatever want you can't without clicking on it if you don't click on it again you can zoom in and get whatever you can see so it, it's still difficult so right now I can get this little piece of road but it's also not going to look exactly right so let me go ahead and um, uh, just now since we've already um, sent the landscape we want to Unreal. We don't want to send this whole landscape again. We just want to download the geodason features. We can select on download geodason so we can just get this little piece of road here and then hit just download height map. Okay. Um, and then I think, yeah, we're probably going to have to, let me see what it downloaded it as. Probably have to grab that. I think we have to grab that name manually right now. Download that again. Um, okay, 9T-E, so let's see if that's the same name. I don't think it is, because it's going to be different. So let's make sure we do the updated. Oh, it is the same name, because it's the same. Right, because I selected the same area. I didn't change the area, so that's fine. Okay, so now I can do the same thing and um, grab my track generator, go to my map box BP, and let's clear the existing spline points and import it again. Go find my track generator. And you can see that, besides whatever this freaky thing is, I don't know, you can see that um, it did actually import it, but you know, because this, this is a huge piece of land, um, the road is, you know, appropriately sized, a small piece of road right here, but it's. I'm still having issues with it bunching up and, and looking wrong and it's just making it difficult. So the, the biggest problem is I would like to be able to, um, you know, be able to select a big tile piece like this and get all the geojson features within it. 
But again, the limitations with map boxes, the only way right now I know of to get the geojson features is to zoom in to the area that I want, such as this road. And now that I see it, now I can get those geojson features. So if I wanted to get get all the features in the geojson, I would have to grab this bounding box, zoom in manually, or well, find a way to zoom in automatically, and then basically click here and select and find out how many of these little geojson uh, these uh, bounding boxes fit in my larger one and, and do a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of downloadings to get all the roads and rivers within within that larger scene. So that's a difficult process. I'm not sure exactly what to do with that. I don't know how far I'm going to go with it, but, um, you know, you can see it working. So on that small scale, it looked really good besides the landscape not looking good. And that's a resolution issue. And I'm again, not sure how to fix that. Um, but you can play around with it if you want. Um, and of course the track generator, you can use that. It's, it's open source. Uh, you know, I just built it from a video this guy built and, uh, and, um, so you can use a track generator just as whatever you want for anything. You don't have to use it with the, with the map box, um, uh, uh, BP. So, um, you know, that's, that's pretty much it. It's a work in progress. Um, well, have fun with it guys. All right. Bye.